Okay, my friend. Good morning. How are you feeling? Uh, I feel very happy to be uh, uh, American uh, and to be a, a citizen. Um, I live in 3203. Uh, I wish to be your personal friend forever. <laughs> Okay, ahora voy a hablar en español porque mi inglés no es muy bueno. Uh, tenemos, tenemos dos intérpretes. El señor Claudio. Uh, la señora Nequita va a traducir en criol, mientras que Claudio va a transmitir transmitir en inglés. Eh, espero que todos podamos aprender hoy, pero sobre todo que podamos fortalecer nuestros vínculos. He aprendido que la unión está a la fuerza y en la cooperación y bienestar y esto es parte de lo que identifica América y de eso me siento sumamente orgulloso quiero que trabajemos juntos y que podamos sembrar las próximas fiestas que se avecinan. Great, thank you so much. So, um, the packet that everyone has in their chair is a mix of information about the coalition and information about what's going on um, in Union Square, including the agreement that was just signed between the city and the master developer. So we're going to get into some of these things. First, I want to quickly go over the agenda. Um, it's over there, and you probably can't see it. Um, but first, we're going to have breakfast. We've already started. Many thanks to Anne and everybody else who brought food. Um, if you're hungry at any point in the day, just wander over and grab more food, more coffee. So, um, 
this involves some standing up, but if standing up and sitting down is not your thing, you can just raise your hand. That's also fine. So I'm going to ask everyone to stand up if you live in Union Square. Uh, all right. Stand up if, um, stay standing if you've lived in Union Square for more than one year. More than three years. More than five years. More than ten years? <laughs> All right. So we've got Felix, Joe, and Yeti, who have lived in Union Square for more than ten years. And, and Anne, who's also raised Okay, so um, stand up if you... I didn't think this one too well. Stand up if you are part of Groundwork Summer. What if you are part of the Welcome Project? If you're part of the Union Square CAC? If you're part of the Concord Ave Community Space? Let's see who else is here. If you're part of the Tri Parish Initiative? If you're part of Community Action Agency of Somerville? Um, who else is here? If you're part of SCC. <laughs> All right. Uh, stand up if you came here today by walking. What if you came here today by biking? No one bikes. It's really too cold to be biking. Um, if you drove here today. Um, All right. And stand up if you are excited to dig in on our campaign plan for 2015. Ah, good. Okay. Ben's not excited. All right. Thanks, guys. So, Greg, it's all yours. Well, my name is Greg Hill, and um, knowing the context is important for our campaign. We need to know where we've been, why we formed, and where we're headed. So I'm going to give a brief synopsis of, of that, starting basically with the city square and then for our Union United. Back in 2000, our story with Union Square really starts with the Green Line. In 2000, after years of contention, the state agreed to extend green, the Green Line into Somerville as part of the Big Dig mitigation. Once the transportation hub, Union Square will see the first station of the Green Line Extension open on Prospect Street in 2017, in 2009. From 2006 to 2009, a comprehensive rezoning of Union Square was undertaken, resulting in the adoption of a new zoning ordinance. In 2009, the city started a citywide comprehensive planning process called Summer Vision, with the intent to create a 20-year plan from 2010 to 2030, meant to guide Somerville's development. 2012. In April, 2001, in April 2012, the City of Somerville's comprehensive plan was finalized and approved by the Board of Aldermen. In the summer of 2012, the City's Planning Department issued the Union Square Revitalization Plan set to redevelop key areas of Union Square in the course of the next 20 years. The Union Square Revitalization Plan is the first major planning effort developed on the foundation of Summer Vision. The Board of Aldermen approved the Union Square Revitalization Plan in 2012. In 2013, the Somerville Redevelopment Authority buys land to build the Union Square train station. The city sends out a request searching for a master developer to redevelop 12 key acres of Union Square also known as the Union Square Redevelopment Area and Disposition Blocks. Aha, 2014, this year. Very, very active year. The Civic Advisory Committee is appointed to by the Mayor to oversee the community process for the Union Square Redevelopment Project. <coughs> US 2 was selected by the SRA to be the Master Development for the Union Square Redevelopment Project. <coughs> exactly. <laughs> She, she, she said it all. <laughs> That's a good encapsulation. <laughs> she's, she's next. <laughs> uh, US2 launches their 100 uh, Days of Engagement initiative, and uh, that was also 
uh, happened in Union Square. We, we went to that in the, in the fall. A master designation development agreement is signed between US2 and the Somerville Redevelopment Authority. And the city launches its neighborhood planning process called Somerville Design for Union Square. Okay, now we're going to focus on the coalition and how we've gotten involved in the Union Square redevelopment process for over the last year. In 2013, SCC's Land Use Committee got together to start tracking what is going on in Union Square. They decided that there are a lot of related issues like jobs, housing, and green space that people care about, and that the broader community, turning the page is the toughest part of this, let me tell you, not that the level is needs to be involved in the Union Square conversation and in, in 2014. In April 2014, SCC's Land Use Committee hosted a Union Square Community Workshop to hear from residents and businesses about their priorities and talk about what's going on in the square with one another. At an April CAC meeting, Union Square residents helped present the links, the link Somerville Equity Standards metrics that speak to how the city can achieve good equitable development using equity as a leading criteria. In April, Union United came together and we had our first meeting as a coalition. We composed a letter listing our demands that was sent to the CAC, the Board of Aldermen, the SRA, and the Mayor. The demand stated that we are committed to equitable growth and we want decision makers to ensure that equity is part of the selection criteria for the master developer that Union United issues are included in any and all forms of a master or land disposition agreement between the city and the master developer, what a mouthful, and, the, and that the master developer be willing to negotiate and sign a community developments, community benefits agreement with the Union United as part of its agreement with the city. We also started make, working with MEGEAN, a network of attorneys and environmental consultants who provide pro bono assistance to community groups to see if they can help us in our effort to put together our community benefit agreement. In May, Union <laughs> United had its kickoff retreat. Now, who was there for that? Can you raise your hands? Who were part of that? Okay. We also held an action to prevent small business uh, displacement at Union Square after many businesses were hit with substantial rent increases. In June, a few coalition leaders met with the city, city's director of economic development, Ed O'Donnell, to discuss the coalition's priorities. We also used the month of June to focus on our CBA. We hunkered down and turned our community priorities into, into demands for the CBA around seven issue areas, affordable housing, arts and culture, local jobs and workers' rights, open space and green space, public safety, small and local business protections, participatory planning, and strong enforcement. In July, Union United met with US too. By the end of the meeting, they verbally agreed to be open to a process of negotiating a community benefits agreement with Union United and having open communication with our coalition. We were featured, we were featured in the Boston Globe op-ed to respond to Paul McMorrow's claim that any redevelopment plan is always an anti-gentrification plan. In August, Union United held a creative action at US2's kickoff event where we plastered our community priorities in different languages all over their sandwich boards. In October, Union United presented on CBAs at the CAC meeting where we proposed creative, creating a workshop group to focus on community benefits and a collaborative process convened by Union United to seek for US2, CAC, the city, and other community stakeholders. So as you can see, we have accomplished a lot this past year. I think it's pretty amazing. But we still have a ways to go with our campaign. We need to focus on getting to a winning strategy for the remainder of this retreat. Next, I'd like to present Zara and Marie to lead the next activity. Thanks, and we have a lot to be proud of. To evaluate uh, for the entire year what we've done. What we did, what was good, and what we need to improve. We need to correct a couple of things. We will correct them. We want to work very hard today.
to plan for next year. Is everybody ready to do that? Yes. 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 Go ahead and post it first. To be uh, being transparent. To be transparent. Para que se integre. Motivate people and, uh, by way of uh, creating awareness. We have an effective presence at City Hall. Keeping people involved, not giving up. Running meetings, values, importance of individuals. Whole group agrees to long list of CBA priorities. Community tour, creative, fun, and educational. Permanent presence. Let's see, educating CAC and others about CBA and getting it into discussion. What we can do better. Uh, we didn't convince the city to engage, okay? We could emphasize community interest with CAC, a stronger message for the Haitian community, need more power, uh, need more members, uh, need to connect with the powers, have a solid group, need more people, publicize efforts, need more information and details from the city, finding time that accommodate everybody, uh, need to engage with more people and encourage uh, uh, parties, uh, participation, participation. Uh, get uh, neighborhood assistance into association. association into Union United. We need to get closer to the mayor, reach higher percentage of housing, no youth or elderly, uh, not find the appropriate level of proposal or demand to engage decision makers effectively, and take into account the political re reality of backroom deals and lack of transparency, better address uh, and delve into more deeply the enormity of money and power uh, of what is at play.